Okay. Well, <clears throat> I guess the verdict is in. These motors are notorious for a couple of issues. Cracking right here, which I don't see. So I don't see any cracking between cylinders on the head. That's the good news. Everything on the head looks fine. Some of the um, exhaust manifold bolts were loose. And uh, of course there was some blow by getting pumped out of the uh, gaps in the gasket there since those were loose. Um, cam looks good. The, the uh, push rods look good. Everything looks good until we come over here and start looking at this. So they say that if news is bad, it's really bad. And so that's kind of the situation here. I don't know if the camera's going to pick this up. You see the crack? So there's a hairline crack right here that goes from the size stamp all the way through and it kind of stops like right there at the valve valley. Uh, number four, same scenario. There's a crack going all the way through. Let me turn the motor over here. Here's number two. There's a crack running right down this all the way to the valve seat again. And uh, number three, same scenario. Come on, focus camera. We're not going to play this game today. Thank you. A little crack right there. So, <clears throat> this is the point of the build where money just starts flowing out like waterfalls. Just can't contain itself. It's got to fly out of your pockets to keep moving forward. I've done a little bit of research on the rebuild stuff for these motors and I have a couple of options. And I'm going to leave it up to you guys because I really want some input from you guys. So down in the comments section, if you made it this far in the video and you see the problem that I'm up against, I want to know what you would do. So let me give you an example. They make rebuild kits available on eBay with pistons, piston rings, and uh, the liners on this actually look good. There's no scarring or anything like that. I would just have to re-hone them. But the kits do come with liners if you know you need to press the liners out. So my question for you guys that I want you to put down in the comments here. Would you buy the eBay kit for, you know, 800 bucks? Or would you actually go to an Isuzu dealership and buy one, two, three, four pistons and rings and head gasket and all the other gaskets, which is going to be about two to three thousand dollars is my guess. I've seen the single cylinder piston and liner kit for like 400 bucks. I don't know what the ring kits cost. I'm going to guess the ring kit was probably 50 to a hundred dollars. So, I mean, we're talking anywhere from two to $3,000 or go with the less tolerance, like the lesser quality, not OEM quality, generic rebuild kit. So let me know down in the description or in the comment section, what you would do would you go with the you know lesser quality kit because this is not going to be a show car this is just going to be a snow cat it's just for fun i'm not going to be driving you know 100,000 miles on it i'm going to take it out every once in a while just to have some fun with i do want it reliable however on the forms that i've seen for these motors there's been a flip-flop between the kit works good and the rebuild kit doesn't work good. The ones on eBay they're talking about. So if any of you have any experience with these motors, these 4BD2Ts, also down in the comments section, if you have a supplier or, you know, an OEM part supplier that gave you a great deal on 
you know, a rebuild kit for one of these, please let me know who to contact. I don't, I am not familiar with these motors as much as I would like to be. I'm sure down the road, I'll probably be really familiar with them, but let me know in the comments there who I can contact and uh, what kind of deals I can get on four pistons and piston rings and possibly liners to match the pistons. These are all the A size pistons, by the way. So every single one of them was A. Um, but other than that, I've got a bunch of parts now that I can run through the dishwasher. And uh, I've got another video coming up. Something interesting I found with the alternator since this has a vacuum pump on it. And uh, I'm not going to run the vacuum pump because the only thing it does on that motor is for the exhaust brake and scavenging, PCV valve scavenging. Also, I uh, had another casualty. This is the uh, common fuel line or common fuel rail going to the injectors off of the head there. I broke that, so I'm going to have to find that too. So, But uh, yeah, so there, that's the verdict. All four of the pistons are cracked. They'll definitely need to be rebuilt. And um, from this point on, it might be slow going to get parts here with this whole epidemic or pandemic thing going on. And uh, I need some input from you guys, so please. I know this is a long-winded uh, end of this video, but I'm reaching out to you guys. Help me out. Tell me if you know some solutions. I'd be more than willing to learn and listen. Um, other than that, guys, I think that's going to be it for this episode. If you uh, like this episode, give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed yet, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. But as always, guys, stay safe out there. Take care, and I'll catch you next time. See you later. Bye-bye.